Hello, guys! Привет, друзья! Сегодня we will speak about... Сегодня, I told you. Сегодня we will speak. Today we will speak about direct objects and indirect. Indirect object can be at the same sentence with direct. So, both of them can be at the same sentence. So, I want to show you uh, the examples. So, have a look at the board. So, я хочу купить. And after that, Ани книгу. So, I want to buy the book for Anna. So, I want to buy, do you see here, two verbs. Хочу купить. I want to buy. In English, between two verbs, you can see two, right? But in Russian, no. In Russian, you can see хочу. The first verb can be changed at the end and will be у at the end because I'm talking about me. Я хочу. So, what does it mean? It means we have a cases and we have to change this, this end of the verb. But next one, купить, will be infinitive. So, first one we can change, another not. It's in English, I think it's the same. In any language it's the same. So, I want to buy. Я хочу купить. But we are not talking about that. Just I want to show you some rules, small rules and sentence. But, so, let's go. Хочу купить Ани книгу. Okay. I want to buy what? What I want to buy? I want to buy the book, right? This book I want to buy. So, the книгу, книгу, it means the book. But for Anna. So, the book will be object, uh, direct object. Direct object. But for whom? For Anna can be indirect. Do you see? But uh, the first, you have to find direct object to know what do you want to buy. I want to buy the book. Book, it's a direct object. But I want to explain that книгу it's an accusative case in direct object. Do you understand? But Anya will be um, dative case. I want to show like that. So, not here this. Okay. Dative case, indirect object. So, it's not so important for whom. So important what do you want to buy. Okay? Do you understand? And the rule in Russian language is uh, we, it's not so important where will be direct and indirect object. We can make them. So, you can put а я хочу купить книгу Анне. Я хочу купить Анне книгу. Both are the same. Do you understand? Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, next example. Я пишу письмо маме. Я пишу письмо. I'm writing the letter. Я пишу. It's right letter письмо it's a letter письмо to whom mommy okay try to find the direct object direct object here what i'm writing what i'm writing the letter right so я пишу the verb глагол verb писать it means write what? Что? Что? Письмо. What I'm writing. The letter. Письмо. It means this is a direct object. This is so important to know. Why? Because after that will be indirect object. How to do find it? We have to find to ask to whom. 
for my mom for whom for my mom indirect Mame. Mame pismo. So, what I'm writing? Pismo, direct object, to whom? To my mom. Indirect. Okay, understandable? Okay, next. Papa means father. Kupil, machinu, sinu. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Papa, it's a father. Kupil, it's a bot. Kupil, it's a, the verb buy, but in the past. Because L at the end, you can see. He bought what? He bought a car. Машину to whom? To his son. Si nu. Сыну. To whom? Сыну. Машину. What? Что? To his son. Сыну. So, this is a direct object. Машину. Means the car. To whom? He bought to whom? Сыну. Indirect object. Кому? Ка? Mu, it means to whom? Kamu. Okay. Papa kupil mašina, mašinu si nu. Father bought the car for his son. Okay. Next. I hope at this level you can understand everything. So next. Anna, it means she. Kupila bought, it's a verb buy, but it's a past kupila. You can ask me why kupil here, it said also bought, but here kupila also she bought. But here you can see at the end R because it's a female word, Anna. Who? Anna. Okay. Anna kupila what she bought. She bought some flowers, right? Цветы. This is an object. Что? Цветы. She bought what? She bought что? Цветы. Цветы to whom? Учителю. Учителю кому? To whom? Kamu, учитель. Учитель, it's a teacher. Okay, Anna, maybe you are talking about your sister, maybe, I don't know, your friend, bought flowers to, to the teacher. Anna kupila цветы учителю. Учителю. Anna kupila цветы учителю. Anna kupila цветы учителю. And here also you can машину сыну, письмо маме, книгу Анне. Uh, here maybe to not confuse you, I can go like that, and after that change a little bit like this, okay? Because as you see here. It doesn't matter where you will be a direct or indirect object, object uh, from the first or from the second uh, place, okay? So, next, babushka, babushka, in Russian it's a grandma. Babushka приготовила, приготовила, приготовила пирог внуку. Приготовила пирог внуку. Так, окей. Бабушка приготовила. It's a... Бабушка приготовила. Бабушка made a pie for her grandson. So, important to know where is the 
direct object. To ask, to know wh where is direct object, we have to ask what she prepared. She prepared pirog. Pirog, it means the pie, okay? Maybe apple pie, maybe something else. Maybe with a meat or potato we can do it. Meat with potato, so good, you know. So, I think you are not hungry to to listen carefully my lesson. So, бабушка приготовила пирог. Бабушка, granny, prepared the pie. What she prepared? The pie. Пирог. Что? Пирог. Okay? Что? Пирог. To whom? To his or her grandson. To whom? Кому? 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 Внуку. Внук? It's a grandson. Внуку? Show that it's accusative case. Вну... Oh, sorry. Uh, dative. Okay? Dative case. Кому? Внуку. But пирог, pie, will be accusative case. Okay? So, бабушка приготовила пирог внуку. Бабушка prepared what? Пирог. It's a direct object. To whom? Внуку. Indirect. Okay? Next. Я, я читала. You can see are. Читать means read. But in the past will be читала. Я читала. Читала я. What I, uh, I was reading. Книгу. What? Книгу. To whom? To my mom. Кому? To my mom. Маме. Я читала книгу маме. Maybe your mom, maybe my... It doesn't matter, actually. So, you have to know how to find the object, direct or indirect. Direct. You have to ask what exactly you did or bought or, I don't know, prepared. But after that, indirect, it's like, okay, it's obviously, if it's direct, it's, you have to find the first, at the first time. After indirect, you have to find next, after you know what exactly you prepared or cooked or something else, okay? Я читала книгу маме. Я хочу купить Ани книгу. Or, I want to buy the book to Anna. Я хочу купить книгу Ани. Also can be. Я пишу письмо маме. Or, я пишу маме письмо. Can be also like that. Doesn't matter, it's not a mistake. It's correct. Папа купил машину сыну. Папа купил, bought, he bought, машину, the car, сыну. To whom? To his son. Or you can switch it and you can see Papa купил сыну машину. Both are correct. Она купила цветы учителю. Она, she, bought, купила, купила. What she bought? Цветы, the flowers, учителю. To whom? To his or uh, to her uh, teacher. Цветы учителю. It means what she bought. Цветы. To whom? Учителю. Okay. Next. Бабушка приготовила пирог внуку. Бабушка. My granny or yours doesn't matter. Бабушка. Granny prepared. Приготовила. 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 Пирог. The pie. Okay. To whom? Внуку. What she prepared? Пирог to whom? Внуку. Что? Пирог кому? Внуку. 
Я читала книгу. I uh, wrote this book to whom? To mom. What I uh, I wrote? I wrote the book. Книгу. To whom? Маме. To my mom. Okay, maybe yours. Что книгу кому маме? Do you understand? It's so important this uh, topic. Why? Because it, when you know how to find object, car, uh, direct and indirect, you can understand next topics about cases, about some uh, another part of uh, Russian grammar. Okay. If you have any question, ask me. I'm here and also ready to answer just uh, have a look maybe again if you didn't understand something okay have a nice day see you next time